What's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to set up Next DNS on your Graphene OS device. So what we want to do is first start up a Next DNS account. So all we need to do is go to Vanadium here, which is the Graphene OS stock browser. And we can go to nextdns.io. And here we're taken to the home page. Right in the middle of the home page, you can see there's a button called Try It Now. And NextDNS makes the process super easy. So all we're going to do is click Try It Now. And basically, you have your temporary account where you can start using NextDNS already. At the top here, you can see that this temporary account will expire in seven days unless you sign up and link this account to your uh, next DNS login. So you can do that. It's super easy. And then that way it won't expire in seven days. But in this case, this is just a uh, temporary account that I'm creating for this video. This bar here that I'm moving, you can slide over and we can go to logs here. And you can see here with logs down here, it says no logs yet. And that is because we're not obviously linked uh, we don't have our DNS traffic from this phone being sent to NextDNS to resolve. What we want to do is go to Setup. And also right here, you can see in the middle, this device is not using NextDNS. And so we want to change that. So all we'll do is take this NextDNS over TLS link. We're going to copy that. And now... If we go back, let's go to our settings. We'll go to network, private DNS, and we're gonna choose private DNS. And here is my DNS link that I use for my personal. So I'm gonna delete that and put in this new link uh, that we're using for this tutorial. So once you copy it, all you do is put that in hit save, we'll go back to Vanadium. And now if we refresh our Vanadium page, you can see now it says in the middle, all good, this device is using NextDNS with this configuration. So that's really it. So now all of your DNS traffic on your entire phone, not just the browser, um, but all of your apps, uh, basically all of the traffic that goes through your phone uh, is now being resolved by NextDNS before you getting sent to wherever your traffic wants to go. So now if we go into logs, you can see here that uh, we got some traffic like metric.gstatic and nextdns.io because obviously we're on this page. So it's connecting to, this, uh, to that server. Um, so some of the things that I like to change when I first start up an account is I go to security and I just make sure that everything is on other than the betas. I don't turn on anything that is beta like this AI driven threat detection, but we can turn on rebinding protection. We can block newly registered domains. We can block park domains. Uh, we can block top level domains. So if we wanna, wanted to block a TLD, um, so here there's a whole list of TLDs that you can block. Um, let's say that you wanted to block I don't know, Chinese domains, if you wanted to. Uh, you can find the CN, wherever that is. There it is. So .CN, you can add that and close. So now all .CN domains are now blocked. If we go back up, let's go to privacy. And when you initiate a NextDNS account, you will automatically have the next DNS ads and trackers block list enabled. What I like to do um, is also add in two others. The first one is OISD, and the second one is Energized Ultimate. Um, so you can see an Energized Ultimate right above remove, it says that there are 548,000 domains that that. Uh, block list blocks and OISD has 328,000 
And if we go back up to the top, the next DNS trackers, still a lot, 142,000, um, but the others are obviously blocking more. And there are some redundancy between block lists. So a, a domain that OISD here might block may also be blocked by uh, Energize Extreme or might also be blocked by the next DNS default blocker as well. It doesn't really matter if a domain is blocked by all three. It's not like it's gonna think three times in order to resolve your traffic. It, it doesn't really work like that. Yeah, you can put on as many block lists as you like. Security and privacy is kind of where I first go to just super basic. Since this is a high level overview, I'm not gonna go through everything. But the last important thing is I like to go to settings. We're gonna keep enable logs, but since I don't want my IP to be revealed, we're gonna take off log IP. I'm gonna change the retention to just one hour so that my logs are just kept for one hour and then purged. And then I'm gonna to choose to update my storage location to Switzerland. Now, if we go back to logs, so let's go to a website that I know probably has a lot of trackers, finance.yahoo.com. Here we are on finance.yahoo.com. Just by going to the homepage, now let's go back to our logs and let's refresh our logs. Just by going to finance.yahoo.com, these are all the different URLs, I guess you could call it, all the different domains that are trying to be resolved. So we got, you know, login.u, yahoo.com. Uh, it's trying to go to play.google.com. There's a, there's a bunch. Um, you can see that there are many domains that are also blocked as well, which is pretty much what we want, right? So what we want is a functional site while blocking all the extra stuff. So let's say I wanted to look at an article. So let's take a look at this Yahoo Finance article. The article opens, this video starts to autoplay. I can read everything, I can see everything. It's, it's good, I can read the article. And if I go back to logs and I refresh, I can still visit yahoo.com, but all of this extra stuff are being blocked. This domain, advertising.com, and so forth. So you can see how many extra things are trying to be loaded and NextDNS is blocking them. So hopefully that's helpful. Anyone can go in, try it out. And if you like it, uh, sign up for an account so that your temporary account doesn't expire and you're good to go. All right, hopefully this video was helpful. Thank you all and I'll see you in the next video.